Hi, it's James Wood here from Totally Wild UK, and we've come across a really nice small belly. It's one of the smaller ones that we find, so it's not quite as big as um, some of the other larger beliefs. It's one of the, uh, the smaller ones. This one actually down here, good edible, but it's called the matte belete. So it has a matte surface to the top. It's almost like suede but it's not the suede belete. This one is the matte belete. The key difference really between the two is if you look at this one, this one's got quite a red stem. It's actually covered with red dots down the stem. Um, and it has a dark matte surface, whereas the suede belete has a much more suede looking surface and sometimes has red lines on the stem. And often I find suede beliefs actually slightly larger than the matte beliefs. Um, so if we go from an ID point of view, I mean, to start with, this is, this is an edible mushroom. It doesn't really pass the, the red and blue might make you spew rule because it has quite a lot of red on the stem, but this is one of the, the exceptions to that rule. Um, yeah, from an ID point of view, we've got a cap and then a stem. And then if we look on the other side, instead of it being gills, like paper edges, We've got sub spongy area. So we usually use rules for this. We usually say if it's red or blue, it may make you spew, so don't eat it. But you can see this one's got quite a lot of red on the stem. So this would go against our rule. In fact, if we were to go out um, and just follow that rule, we'd leave this mushroom behind um, because it's so red on the stem. And actually when we cut it, it might stain slightly blue. But there is exception to that rule. So once you get more confident with the bleats, to start with, always follow that rule. And then when you get more and more confident, you start to bend that rule a little bit once you get used to the ones that are, uh, are going to give you um, a bad time on the toilet. And this is one of the ones that goes against it, like I say, matte belete, um, matte cap. Key really for the idea on this is these red dots on the stem. So it's not bright red, it's not um, lines, it's red dots on the stem. Nice edible, quite small. Um, it's one of those I'd usually just use in the pot with other belets. So it's one of those things that when we're out in the woods, like this. So we're in a completely mixed woodland here. I've got an oak just here. I've got a beech just there. I've got a, a grand fir just over there. I've got a bit of everything actually. Um, but when I'm out in the woods like this, I'll come across quite a few different types of beliefs, quite a few different types of rushulas, quite a few different types of edible mushrooms in general. And this is one of the ones that will just go into the mixing pot. Very rarely be the star of the show, um, but it does give a good, good flavor uh, and it dries really well. And actually, if we were to feel it, it's got a really nice firm texture, quite often firmer than some of the, um, the other smaller beliefs, um, quite often further than some of the, the larger beliefs that have grown to full size. So it can give quite a meaty texture as well, which is right, quite nice. From a, a confusion point of view, I think the one we could probably most likely confuse this for just because of the size um, and the red on the stem is one called a red cracking belief. Looks almost identical apart from on the stem here, uh, on the cap, sorry, here, it'll start to crack and where it's cracked, you'll get um, a red colour that comes through where it's cracked. Um, but edible as well. It could be confused with a couple of other, possibly um, smaller beliefs, none that I can think aren't edible. Um, but yeah, really nice, really nice one to find. Quite a small one. Again, once we find one, I'm going to have a look around here, hopefully find a couple more. Um, but that's it. Matt 